morning, you guys. It is just after 6 a.m. It is June 9th, and I'm in Atlanta. Um, I'm just waking up and getting ready to head back to Seattle. Um, today is go-home day, day four of a four-day trip, and uh, my sister is actually coming to town. So you guys are gonna see my sister, Steph, and she is coming for just about a week in Seattle and I got a week off of work and we have a bunch of fun activities planned and it's gonna be super exciting. Um, so I'm just waking up here, got some coffee from the hotel. We have an espresso machine here. And so I'm just gonna sip on my coffee, get ready. Just took a shower. My hair's all crazy. So I'm gonna finish getting ready here and I will catch you guys once the sun is up. My sister is flying standby for the first time and I just told her, get to the airport early, start the day early. You'll get on this first flight of the day if you can manage to get up early enough to get into Boston, get through security and all that, you'll be fine. Um, so her flight lands at around 10.30 and I land from Atlanta around 11.30. And then assuming that all goes well, then that's the end of my day. So we're gonna meet stuff at the airport. So if you guys are interested in us exploring greater Seattle and everything in the PNW, then keep on watching. It's gonna be a really, really fun time. My hair is already feeling the humidity and I was just outside for a few minutes. Um, but we're just about to start boarding. I'm bringing my seatbelt extenders to the back. We're gonna start boarding and then my sister is meeting us at the gate because she gets in an hour before me. So fingers crossed, no tagging. On go home day, we're gonna have a great flight and I'll catch you guys in Seattle. Hi guys, meet Steph. Hey. You've been in some of the vlogs before. Um, we just left the airport. I literally stepped off the plane in uniform and she's waiting at my gate for me because she landed a little bit before me. And now we're getting some food, taking it back to the apartment, and we're gonna chill out for a little bit and figure out something to do tonight. Coffee. Coffee, we need coffee, we're both tired. We both came from the East Coast today. I guess we did. <laughs> Atlanta and Boston. Been up since 4.30. Yeah, you're up earlier than me, actually. Ooh. What'd you think of that one? It was straight up potato puree. Stop. How did you get potato puree out of that? With coconut. With coconut. Stuff hates coconut. It was like thick. It is thick. I think it's like condensed milk in there. Okay, but that one though. That was the sesame latte. Like I drink that one. Yeah, we <laughs> choked that down. <laughs> I might have to order that to go. Yeah, we might. <laughs> Cheers! Look at that. Ube creme brulee on top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta break up that crisp. <laughs> Try it. You can have it. <laughs> oh, it's good? Bitch. We need to have some. Ooh, look at that mix. Get that. Get that mix. Okay, here we go. Good. It's like a traditional latte. It's okay, good. so a good one to end Taste on. Taste the espresso. Taste sure. the espresso. Good. We that's what we need. A plus. Fast forward after our coffee, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. I got myself some cauliflower wings, and we watched the Celtics play game two, and we got to see some cute puppies on screen. She's so gorgeous.
Okay guys, uh, we are like five miles away from the Paradise Corridor entrance. We just got into the National Park, Mount Rainier, via Paradise. And we, I guess we're doing um, Narada Falls first. It's a quick little, I don't know, quarter mile little trek to the falls and hopefully we're gonna see a rainbow. So uh, this is our first stop. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, we are off and it is so beautiful out today. Yeah, hey guys, so we just did the very slippery slope down to Narada Falls and there's a little rainbow right there. That a port, there we go. You can see the rainbow right there. And there's another one <laughs> right behind us that you can't see. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. Also, would recommend the hiking boots and not old sneakers like I'm wearing that have no traction because we are slipping and sliding. Hey guys, so we just made it to the Paradise Visitor Center. We found out that the Skyline Loop Trail is still snow covered. We didn't, we're new at all this, so we didn't know what to expect. Um, but that was, aside from Narada, that was the main uh, trail that we were hoping to explore. So um, we just got some snacks. This is our breakfast. We're just having some protein bars, granola bars. And um, we talked to some of the guides inside and they recommend that we go down to the Longmire area. And uh, there's a couple trails down there that are not snow covered. Uh, there's one, do you remember the name of it? It's about- the Falls. Not Christine Falls, but- Yeah, not, there's one of the falls. We're, we, so we can't do Myrtle Falls or the Skyline, but there's a different fall. Um, Murado? No. It's called the Woodland Trail and it's by the Longmire area. So uh, basically we have to drive back down the mountain from where we came and it's more south towards the base. And that one's 2.2 miles with a 500 feet elevation gain overall. So uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that one. And yeah, next time we'll plan ahead or we'll probably just have to wait till like later in the summer uh, once this more snow has melted to do the other scenic trails. But it's okay, we're learning and we're still having a good time. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Snowball fight. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that goes through. <laughs> Breakthrough. Don't you dare. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so all of the trails that were recommended to us that are not uh, snow covered right now are south of where we were in Paradise. So we're now making our way down towards Longmire. And we passed Christine Falls actually on the way up. So we're here now. We didn't even know we passed it. There's no sign for it. So uh, that's where we're here. We're gonna look at the Christine Falls. We are scared to cross the river. It is pretty strong current. And it's just one down tree with a railing. And we're kind of nervous. We don't even know if we're going, we're trying to go to Carter Falls. We're not sure if the map's leading us the right way, but we're just exploring. So pray for us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Slipping and falling. No balance. Novice hikers. <laughs> we made it. 
All right, guys, we made it to Carter Falls, elevation 3660, 3,600 feet. And we are gonna try, apparently if we keep going 50 more yards, we can see Madcap Falls. Um, some other hikers told us it's super close, but then another couple hikers said, don't do it. We walked an extra mile and couldn't find it. So I don't think it's supposed to be that far away. So we're gonna continue on a little bit, see if we can find Madcap since we're already out here. We've reached Madcap. We just made it to Madcap and we are now gonna turn around and head back. Uh, 1.1 miles plus a little bit. Uh, 500 foot elevation gain from where we started. We made it up to Madcap. We're gonna turn around, go back to our car and head just to the Longmire Visitor Center. We essentially did like two easy trails today and a moderate. Essentially, we did the entire um, Woodland to Paradise Trail that starts from Longmire and goes all the way up to Paradise Visitor Center. That one takes about six hours, but it passes through um, Carter Falls, Madcap, all the way to Narada, which we did earlier in the vlog. So we saved ourselves a lot of time doing it like in smaller hike chunks. Like we did it in three smaller hikes versus like one six hour long hike. So I do think we planned that very well. And um, we were hoping it was gonna be a paved path, but unfortunately those were snowed out. So we're gonna have to come back later this summer to get some um, snow melted paved paths. Um, but I'm proud of my sister and my roommate because we were not expecting this and we kept going. Make sure you keep a map with you too because this has all the trails listed and that's been our saving grace from uh, how confused we've been whether or not we're going the right way and talk to your fellow hikers because we were asking them How close are we like are we almost there and they've been really helpful? So anyways, we're just gonna trek back and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. We're just leaving Longmire um, Longmire was on our way towards the uh, entrance to Mount Rainier National Park and there's another visitor center here an information center and museum and restrooms. so we just hit the restrooms and we are ready to leave the park. Uh, gosh, I could spend so much more time here, but uh, we have to get gas and we're gonna go get lunch somewhere in town. So we'll catch you guys in town in a little bit. Lunch stop. All I needed was food and the conversation. Thank you. Um, okay, if you're ever doing Mount Rainier and you pass through this town called Eatonville on the way, well, when you're done hiking, you gotta stop at Cruiser's Cruiser Cafe because you're gonna have the best burger of your life. We each got a different kind of burger and we are just like silently happy. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would recommend. Amazing sweet potato fries too. So, so good. Amazing. Guys, um, we just got, well, not just got back. We've been home. Um, we took showers and relaxed and now it's like eight o'clock and we're super tired. So we just ordered some pizza and we're gonna watch some Netflix and call it a night. And then we're gonna come up with the game plan for tomorrow. Over. morning guys so steph and i just got ready and we are going to head to bellevue today and do some shopping we woke up we kind of like slept in a little bit because she was really tired from hiking yesterday i'm kind of used to getting up early so i got up got ready and um yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into bellevue and we're gonna go to the botanical <laughs> there's stuff uh, we're gonna go to the botanical garden in bellevue first and then that's free entry and free is for both of us so we love that um grab some coffee there go check out the gardens Ooh. and then we're gonna go to the bellevue collective shopping center and then explore the uh, downtown park there as well and then we're gonna make our way back to my part of town because there's a farmer's market and we're on the hunt for brioche donuts. Um, we, we've seen them on Instagram and um, the one shop that we both knew of, there's a few, but the one that we knew of apparently is closed right now until June 15th. So it's not open. 
Um, so we found another brioche donut uh, place at the farmer's market. They'll be there today. So that's the plan for the day. Come along with us and we're going to have a good time. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> So unlike Mount Rainier, this place has signs every hundred feet. <laughs> we are excited though. <laughs> Might be a lupine. There's no way those rocks are staying there. <laughs> they have to be glued. They have to be glued for sure or staked through. Well, no way that that one <laughs> at this angle, it's literally. <laughs> it's magic. Really it's Zen magic. Japanese garden. Hey guys, so we just made it to the Bellevue Collective. We just left the botanical garden and the maps were misleading. We ended up doing a lot more walking. Like every, I thought the whole trail was gonna be a third of a mile, but it ended up being like a bunch of sections where like a third of a mile or a 10th or a half. So we ended up doing almost two miles of walking and we're in like full like outfits not ready for hiking but um anyway so we're gonna go do some retail therapy my phone's really low on battery so I'm not gonna vlog this section um, but we'll catch you guys later today okay so where are we at Donuts. and what are we getting some good <laughs> Apple pie. We got the good lazy donut donuts and I just want to show you because we already taste tested two of them the Boston cream and the lemon lemon sorbet flavors and they're phenomenal they are brioche donuts and this is strawberry crunch good lazy donuts and we're gonna save these for later you guys I'm sorry I can't taste test right now because we ate because we ate two already <laughs> and took it all in vertical video so um 12 out of 10 would recommend yeah the brioche donuts they're very filling Boston cream we got four and they're very filling we each had we split like one each wow yeah. phenomenal. very good phenomenal I'm so glad we came I had no idea that this was a thing and this is just your sign to explore your area whether you're in a new area like me i've lived here almost a year now and i did not know something like this existed so we're gonna see what else we can stumble upon Yeah, we just got our food from a couple different vendors, so I literally can't see anything. Okay, I got uh, vegan dumplings from a Nepal-based food food stand, I guess, and then also cheese balls from them too. And then Steph got some lumpias. Lumpias? Yes. From. <laughs> We're not sure the name, but anyways, so food time. Taste test though these 
cheese and potato balls are fantastic like 12 out of 10 crunchy and like perfectly light coating of whatever they're fried in on the outside and just like delicious on the inside satisfying crunch like so good so flavorful and then the veggie dumplings they're super cute because they're green and also I would give I would give these 10 out of 10 and I would give the cheese balls like 11 or 12 out of 10 they're really good but these are good too Hi guys, um, so we are exploring Seattle proper today and we parked um, kind of like, I don't even know what neighborhood we parked in, we didn't, it's kind of near Cap Hill-ish, but anyways, so we're just exploring today because we're both tired from all the activities we've been doing and uh, so we're going to walk down to the Spears for now, we just got some brunch, we had a late start to the day. But we got the scenic drive of Blake Washington because Steph hadn't seen it and it was really pretty and it's a gorgeous day with a beautiful breeze. And yeah, we are just exploring the city. Not much on the agenda today. Getting our scooters for about 22 minutes before we realized we were in training mode. <laughs> Cause we weren't going very fast and we're like are we that chunky like what's the deal <laughs> why do we have no oomph well we're in training mode so we turned that setting off we were zooming we were zooming and now we're by um lake union and there's bike pa uh bike lanes so we're just gonna zip around by the water and um there's some really cool seaplanes we're by the museum of history and industry it looks very nice but um and we found out that you can't ride the scooters really in the parks, they'll just shut down. Um, so they're just meant for the roads only. So we're learning and adventuring at the same time. Super fun. <laughs> Debating, getting this men's flannel. It's really pretty and blue and I don't have a blue flannel and it fits my style, but it's $24. I feel like that's kind of a lot for a thrifted, like heavy jacket shirt. But it would literally look so cute. I don't know. This is how you know you're in the PNW right here. <laughs> Wanna watch our Celtics play? They better win. They better win. What do you think of Schilling cider? It's good. It's good, right? It's yummy. It's, yummy. Crispy. it's crispy. And fruity. Crispy, fruity, good cider. <laughs> I have never seen this before. But the UPS trucks, I swear to God, they're doing a drop off of something highly suspicious illegal. and illegal. <laughs> they just pulled up in the turning lane, put both their hazards on, and they're touching bugs. I have never seen this before. And then there was another car right in front of me right here. And it was a pretty tight fit. So I don't know what was going on, but they were right here behind one of the UPS trucks that just moved over there. And he was waiting until the UPS truck drove away and then he finally drove off. Mm. Like, what is that all about? In other news, I was able to thrift a brown belt, which is something I've been looking for. And it was $15 and then like today's Wednesday. So I got it uh, on sale 25% off of that. So great deal, great steal. And yeah, so I actually got something I've been looking for at the thrift store. So that's super cool. We 
just said goodbye to Steph. Oh, God. I hate goodbyes. I hate them so much. I'm so happy she visited. Family is everything to me. And I'm happy I could get her out here and get her home. Uh, but anyways. No tears today. No tears. It was a really good trip. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Mount Rainier and us hiking and all of the stuff we did in the city it was really fun. And uh, with that, I'm gonna sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed a week exploring the Pacific Northwest, specifically just Washington. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.